John, what's the purpose of picking an A team? Well, the purpose of picking an A team is to give uh, exposure to uh, players, particularly players who are of, certainly of national interest, um, against the national team, uh, and also as a recognition and a bit of an indicator to them that, that we have a real and genuine interest in them for higher honours, international honours, uh, and hopefully it's an encouragement and gives them a boost um, in their general in their general attitude towards the game and seeking higher honours. What do you look for when you're picking? What, what's what? what do you look for when you're picking? Uh, well, we look for good cricketers. We look for good cricketers, uh, and good cricketers who have got a significant upside to them. So, I mean, Andrew McDonald, um, we've selected him as captain. I mean, he's an experienced man as captain. Uh, he played a few test matches about three years ago, four test matches three years ago. He's been in very good form recently. And we basically wanted to say to him, you know, you're not off the radar. You're a player of real interest to us. And we'd like to, you to captain this side that has a lot of young players. Tim Payne two years ago was probably the next in line behind Brad Haddon. He had a terrible injury and now Matthew Wade's come through. Is this, is this selection uh, a sign of him being back in the thoughts of the selectors? Yes, it is, yeah. I mean, Tim Payne was highly regarded before he was injured. He came back uh, through the Australia A Tour to England and did well. He's keeping well, keeping well in the, at the MCG at the moment. So it's an indicator to him that he's back on the radar. How important are these games? heading into the Ashes next year? Look, I, I think they're important games. I think one uh, exciting thing about next weekend is we've got three Sheffield Shield fixtures and this Australia A game, so there are going to be 77 young men striving to do as well as they can, A, for their teams, and B, to impress the selectors. And uh, those playing for Australia A will have a very testing time against the South African attack, but those playing against Victoria will have an equally demanding uh, experience facing Pattinson, Siddle and Mackay. And those playing against New South Wales will be playing uh, against Hazelwood, Bollinger, Copeland. So it's all, the batsmen will need to be on their toes. You've got four genuine all-rounders in this squad. Uh, is that something that the Australian test team is perhaps missing? Apart from Shane Well, I mean, we are, I mean, cricket teams are very dependent on all-rounders. A, a cricket team, if you've got one of your batters, is also a genuine bowler. So we are very, very keen to develop all-rounders. Now, in a sense, we've thrown Glenn Maxwell in at the deep end. Uh, we were intending to pick John Holland, but he's unfortunately been injured. So Glenn Maxwell, we want him to be a genuine all-rounder. We want him to develop his spin bowling. We've put him in this side as the spin bowler and virtually said to him, well, get on with it. You need to develop. You've only got one sort of out-and-out -out fast bowler and Coulter Nile, Australia's pace stocks look pretty healthy this year or this summer. Yeah, they are, most certainly are. And I mean, we uh, contemplated putting Josh Hazelwood in the side because we're very impressed with, with Josh. Uh, and we didn't because we, uh, we're keen to keep him up our sleeve. So if there were to be an injury or two, you know, with our fast bowlers later in the series, Josh is very much on our radar and we'd prefer to have him up our sleeve than. Uh, uh, have the South Africans have a look at him. Great. Rob Quiney had a stellar year last year, just missed out on the A Tour to England, but he's in this team. Yeah, we're very keen to acknowledge Rob's, uh, well, his performances. Uh, he's a very good player and a very good team man and missed out on the Australia A Tour last time by a whisker. He was on standby uh, and he's got his opportunity in that environment this time and we wish him well. How impressive have you been with Philip Hughes' form since? To South Australia. Look, he's, he's had three or four very good knocks. He got a 90 and an 80 in Queensland on a, on a you know, bowler-friendly wicket, which was very good. He got another 90 in the one-day game the other day uh, and has played very well. Uh, in this particular Shield match just that's being played at the moment, uh, he hasn't done so well. But uh, he did well with Worcestershire and you know, he's 23 years of age and we really hope that he... He comes on and uh, really develops over the next year or two. Where does this leave Usman Khawaja in the rankings? Well, Usman played very well up in Brisbane. I mean, uh, we didn't feel it necessary to get Usman into this side uh, because he's had plenty of exposure within within the Australian ranks. 
uh, and this time last year he was on tour with the Australian team in South Africa and did very well in the last test match there when he got a 60 in the second innings. So he's still very much on the radar. He's a good player, isn't he? Is Steve Smith in that boat, the same boat as Phil Hughes and Anus McCullough and a tasted test international experience and now they're sort of coming back through? Yes, and I think Steve Smith is a significantly improved player. He's a better batsman now than he was 12 months ago and he's working hard and uh, we want him to know that he's still very much on our radar and particularly in, in the ODI form. Okay, and the omission of Mitch Marsh, did that have anything to do with his recent... Yes, it did, that? yes. I mean, a week ago when we had a, a squad of 15 or 16 we were contemplating, Mitch was in that. Uh, but due to these circumstances, these recent circumstances, we've decided to omit him and that's very much the whackers, um, it's for them to deal with it. But we've omitted him uh, for that reason here. Uh, and then once all of this is over, um, you know, we move on. So he'll come back strongly in, into contention uh, when all of this settles down. He's a very good player, very promising player. Uh, and as a young man, he's been impulsive and we've probably all been there. But I'm sure he'll learn and we'll move on from that. Thank <laughs> you.